All right, guys, how are you? Super excited. Today's funnel hacking talk is all about launching your opt in page. So many people say, How do I get clients to know what I'm all about? How do I build my list? And if you are like me and you were an Institute for Integrative Nutrition graduate, there was a person who when we were doing list building said, build your list, build your list, build your list, build your list. And I used to have kind of nightmares like, how do I build my list? So for those of you, because we are going live into our forum and I will be taking questions, whether you are new, whether you are at the next stage of up leveling because your foundation is really healthy, an opt-in page is vital for what? It could be a giveaway. It could be a bundle opt-in page. It could be a webinar. It could be a paid workshop or a masterclass. It could be for a myriad of different things. Anything for you to what? Show that you are an expert in this area, give valuable information and have people opt in. It could be one of my favorites, the video series. There are so many different ways to build your list, so many unique ways, but the great thing is when you have a great opt-in page and Sonia, talked about this the other day, the rinse and repeat. The goal is once you have a really stable, like we talked about in our website live, if you didn't catch that, just scroll through the forum or feel free to tag myself. We talked about having stable, great pages. You can replicate. So you get empowered, so you don't feel overwhelmed in your business. So who's Sonia, okay? Sonia has worked with me for three and a half years when it comes to building out my membership, sales pages, opt-in pages, logo, brand sheet, you name it, building entire sites from the ground up. Sonia's worked and specializes in working with creatives, solo entrepreneurs who are in the health and wellness business. I could go on and on. Um, and the good thing is that she understands what a new coach needs and also what an advanced coach we've done five figure six figure launches together when we work together with clients so i am now going to do something that i don't often do zip it <laughs> sonia can rip it no you can you can continue two seconds i'm having some technical issues <laughs> okay. so let me actually just let me show um let me actually show you some examples first um, well, so is it anything I can help or do? <laughs> I no. to launch my thing. <laughs> okay. If not, I can rest. No, okay. Just, this is an example. Um, and guys, I will be taking questions. If you have just come into our free group or maybe you're seeing this on YouTube, um, there is one of the free courses that I have called a profitable wellness business course. I show you examples just like this. I take you through the elements of a healthy website. How do you really define your list building? For especially many of you that are, that have gone through a lot of different things, that have experienced a lot of different things, have a lot of different certifications. So first I wanna show you what good opt-ins allow you to do. I mean, I'm gonna show you some of my clients right now. This is Marie Marlowe. Um, she does not buy materials from us. She is not one of my clients. Um, she is a person that I've watched to build a really healthy, solid foundation that always stays alignment with her true message and vision, which we talked about the other day, which is really important. Um, I'm gonna just show you as we go. Number one, here, take my free health assessment. This right here, and a lot of people do this, and actually, guys, this is just a picture from one of my favorite places to get free pictures, Pexels, Pixabay, or Unsplash.com. She's just asking you, here's a little quiz, and there's 19 pages. This can be done on JotForm, QForm, um, a number of different simple, um, QForm is a plugin for WordPress, JotForm, or even a Google Form is free. I think quizzes.com, Sonia, if I'm correct, I think it's 35 a month. Not necessary when you first start coaching. Um, so this is even one way. What she's also doing by this, which is really important, and I didn't think about it in the beginning of coaching, is she's segmenting and qualifying. 
She's qualifying who her people are. She's also getting to know for the person who needs to lose, you know, let me just say I'm losing 10 pounds. So this is what we always say when Russell Brunson says funnel hack, which he owns click funnels, he says, go through the funnel. How is your energy level level? I'm a ball of energy. Like I love, she has what picture. Sonia talked about this. She has the pictures that speak to her niche, her age group. If I saw a girl that was like 16, 21 jumping up, I probably wouldn't feel as much. And we always say, always match a picture to the question. It's much easier to see. I'm a ball of energy, yeah, I'm okay, I could have more. And also, as you see right here, the element of a really successful opt-in page or anything that you're opting into, it's also to add your personality. So I love this right here, pure example. Eh, I'm okay, but I could have more. A really great example to show that she's like, a, she's relaxed in her approach, even though she's got some really high, um, what we call influencer clients. So I'm gonna say, I'm a ball of energy, because I am. Oh, how's your poop? One of my favorite things, and when you think of this, Everyone's probably saying as we're going through this, this is like the easiest quiz. Because if you hire a copywriter to create a quiz, it's usually about a thousand dollars. You can just think, what are these like top key questions? So I'm gonna say every other day, oh good Lord, we've got a problem. A few times a week, not so great. But I'm definitely, I'm a golden because that I specialize as a digestive wellness expert. This is the Bristol poop chart. So she's asking you like, what does it look like? She really gained into the nitty gritty. So I'll just say, <laughs> what foods give you gas? Oh, I'm a, such a cheese and dairy girl. Um, do you get bloated often? Sometimes, usually around that time of month. Because for me and, and for anybody that is a hormone specialist, and you have either bought our six-month hormone program, or maybe you are starting to say, oh my God, I want a really great hormone funnel, and, and you look at estrogen dominance, or the perimenopause or menopause workshop, leading, it could be paid or free, or master classes, leading to our five-day thyroid, leading to the four month reboot or the six month hormone. So now she's asking about migraines. I'm getting to know as just being a business mentor and not a client, what are the areas of her business that she really works with people one-on-one? -on -one. So that's one area that is her opt-in. The second is if I'm what I call the scroller, you know, and I just wanna check out everything first. Um, and kind of just check out her site. We have one at the top. She has a call to action in the middle. We have the quiz again. And here I can sign up to get recipes. When I go, you know, which is another option possibly um, because I'm not taking a quiz. If I go to her free page, which we talked about the other day in the elements of a healthy website, here I am look better and feel better in just three days spring detox now i will tell you i followed her and i go to this site she doesn't change this she doesn't change it to say another spring detox in spring is also a great plan to have if you are working hormones because it's all about the liver and the gallbladder but here's her other download now she has also her blog and this is why we have our blog package one and two, because blogs are what we call healthy real estate. This is where she is promoting her podcast. What collagen can reverse wrinkles? Let's just see right here. So on her podcast, that's also a way to build your list because in your show notes or even on the blog page like this, where you're promoting it, you can also say, hey, in this episode, I talked about X network marketing product, or I talked about my, you know, five day reboot, or I talked about my skin detox because we have one as well. Um, and you can say, you want to check it out? Just click here, grab it. Or here's a masterclass on gut, or here's a masterclass on any different area that you specialize in. 
Maybe you're looking at our CBD oil workshops. Maybe you're looking at clean eating, hormones, or maybe you're buying a program that comes with your freebies and your workshops. So right here, she talks about, she informs and she educates. Two big things, inform and educate. And then she talks about what causes loss. And right here, a collagen generator. Collagen generator. This is her bit.ly, as you just saw. If we wanna go again, why don't we just do that again? You will see her bit.ly show up in my share. That is her hyperlinking, her affiliate link to Vitacost. So always think, and this is what I mean about having a six-figure site. And you might say, man, I just want to make like a thousand a month. When you're thinking about different ways, somebody may not want to come, you know, and they're not ready to do one of her lower cost options, which I talked about the other day. This is what we would call like, heck yeah, that is a low cost option. We could say Tripwire, this is what in my membership, Content in a Box membership at yourhealthcoachbiz.com. I say all the time, whether you're doing a membership or you're selling the plans, this is such a great entry. So this is not free, of course, but still this is a great opt-in that can lead to, hey, you know, only $24, $24.99, get a month of recipes. Sonia, are you good? Or yeah, I I'm good. No, I'm good. Okay. Wanted to just show you some examples. Um, I'm an example-holic, meaning I have to look at other examples from people. Do not ever steal. Do not replicate. Please do not steal images off of there, anything. But you want to see the customer experience. And see how even going through that quiz, it was like fun. There were like pictures and you're like, oh my God, we're talking about poop. Really think about how can you share like who you are with that person that may have not even ever met you? They found you because on a social media post, it said, click in my link to check out my blog. Today was all about collagen. And you go and click and you don't even know this person, you. Your potential client doesn't know you. What they know is what they're going to see and their customer experience so they have fun they feel calm, they know what to do. There aren't many calls to action because remember, we are the horse in, you know, I wouldn't say the Kentucky Derby, that didn't work out so well this year. But let's just say we are a horse in the horse race with blinders on. You want them to go, boom, that collagen supplement, I've got to buy that. Wow, I'm coming back next to see, does she really drop some value bombs, some truth bombs? She is somebody I want to follow. At the end of the day, that is always your goal. What do I need to be saying to get hired? What value do I need to put out there? What different forms of opt-in freebie? Sonia and I talk about this all the time. Some people love PDFs. And when, when I'll, I'll drop under this, even the, the, business, um, the business course, because if you just think there's one type of freebie that will secure an ongoing list, we are terribly wrong. Sonia and I even discussed, what was it, this morning? We have an 8.30 call. If you ever want to get in touch with us, we talk at 8.30 in the morning. And so sometimes we an even earlier. <laughs> we had an 8.30 call saying, okay, wow, you know, it's time to swap out this freebie. It's been there long enough. So think about the different types of learning that people have. Some love videos. Some hate videos. <laughs> some love a video and a PDF. Some love a checklist. Some love a planner. So think about what has worked for you. Um, and without further ado, I'm super pumped and psyched for Sonia to take over. Um, Sonia, what, just want to introduce yourself? Yes, um, Sonia. Although Bannon. I think I did it like 80 times over. That's, <laughs> I'll keep it short. Um, Sonia Bannon uh, from DaringDesign.co. And uh, I've been a web designer, online business strategist, and everything in between for about 10 years now and working um, tightly with Rachel the last three years. And um, that's that. Upon that, we're going to hop onto opt-in pages, landing pages. I do that day in and day out. I love it. And I'm going to show you how it's done and how you can do it yourself. So let's do this. 
Can you see my screen? Probably. Yeah. All right. So let's building landing pages. Let's do it. So basically, let's go back to the basics. What is a list building landing page? So a lot of people think, oh, it's just a page on my website. I can use my, my home page for that and such and such. Well, it is a little bit different. So in the digital marketing world, it's a page that is a standalone web page that is created especially for marketing, for converting, or to, um, to redirect people when you do an advertising campaign. So when you have a advert or a um, banner or somewhere where you promote that landing page, you will have that those people come and land on that page. That's, that's where it's called a landing page. And they are designed just with one focus in mind, which is a call to action. It can be um, uh, getting their email. It can be a purchase. It can be a share, social media share. So all those actions that you want your audience to take with that page is called a call to action. And those pages are generally simple and devoid of any distractions. So let's hop on a six quick landing page tips for you to have a high converting landing page. So your landing pages must have just one single purpose. So one message only. So you're not gonna start blah, blah, blah about where you came from, what you had um, experience, or something completely not aligned with the, um, the subject of the landing page and what you're offering. Also, every element of your page on the page and before the page needs to be congruent. You cannot have, for example, a banner or a Facebook ad that say X, Y, Z, and then when people come onto your landing page, they see X, well, A, B, C. So it's not congruent from where it comes from. And within the page, you need to make it congruent. That means the language, the, um, the messaging needs to be all one. You also want to be careful that your call to action button, so what you're asking, your audience to do has to be above the fold. That means somebody does not need to scroll the page in order to access that button. And even and just a strategy that Sonia and I do, and you will often see it at our opt-in pages, is you for returning people, let's just give a little, for those of you that are in the advanced stages, guys, your clients, they might be like, oh my, I don't even need to read the page. I really right. trust person. Right. I definitely want to sign up because I know a coupon is going to be released or I know money off or, oh my goodness, I love whenever I've done this person's like six week weight loss boot camp, I get like, like a little like love box sent to me with like essential oils and anyone can create a bonus in a different way. The, the great thing, even on the landing page, and we're talking about whether it's an opt-in page, even a sales page, is just, it's the same key elements. And that's why what Sonia's saying today is everything that applies to the page that you want to have what? Somebody click. Some things that we do and we test it out. Is sometimes we'll have a button right at the top, like grab this free course, and it will be right at the top, above the banner, like where the banner top is. And then there will be another like, the head the headline and then right under that it will say sign me up don't give a what we call like a call to action that closes the deal if it's a opt-in freebie say grab it and so and i will sometimes play around with even testing especially on a facebook ad you know what really calls to people or what even calls to people on a sales page for those of you that are in click funnels even wordpress even lead pages, you can split test. And that allows you to change one element. You might find that your people love when you say, give it to me, or give me it, or grab it. So I just wanted to, for those of you who don't know what you know, these, these folds are, and, and, and we'll bring on visuals, um, just think of yourself as you're, as you're signing up for something. Maybe you are at Thrive Market, Whole Foods, 
where do they place their buttons? And for the things that also really work for you in conversion, where do you see the buttons placed? Sorry, Sonia, just wanted no, to- No, no, go ahead. Um, so, so when you land in the page, your viewer has to know exactly what it is and what they're there for. So it needs to be clear. You also, um, as much as possible, show the product or service that you are offering. For example, if it's a video series, have a little video in there. And actually, um, it's been proven that if you add a video, you then if you don't and it's especially important if you have a video series or a little mini course with videos it's it's a great tool um if you have an ebook just have the um the picture of the 3d rendering or something like that rachel always adds one or two with her packages for that purpose um you also want to remove all unnecessary content for example the menu for example, little gizmos to go to all my social media. Anything that is not pertaining to what you want them to do, that means give them your, their email in exchange for XYZ, needs to be taken away. And once you do, And the yes. other thing, guys, sorry to interrupt, although some of you are doing this, um, is that play around with it because I've seen and I'm really I'm pumped. I just want to give shout outs to everyone who has literally come in, taken action from the moment they have purchased in the last like week and they already have their opt-in pages there. This is the biggest thing. Don't sit in overwhelm. Don't sit in analysis paralysis. Sometimes it's great not to even and, and test. Is it better to have a picture of the emotion of somebody? So this is where, um, and if you caught even our, I, our, our social media training the other day on where to post your opt-in freebie, we talked about this. Like there is a person that really goes, oh my goodness, like that woman looks just like me, or I want to feel what she's feeling because she's happy in our kitchen and I always, usually feel like exhausted and fried. Or sometimes it's really great to have the rendering of that 3D. So remember, you have different people. This is not to make you overwhelmed. This is so to set the stage for ultimate success because so many different business mentors, there are so many different strategies out there, guys. Like there's not just this one way. And Sonia and I really try to stay up with like what is happening currently, but also to sometimes go against the grain because what everyone else is doing sometimes does not set you apart. And, and Sonia and I, um, and then Sonia, I will <laughs> go right back. Oh, go ahead. A woman years ago, her name was Bushra. And she came out with ads that were so different and disruptive in colors. And, um, and even her opt-in pages were so different. Sometimes setting yourself apart. We're not telling you to not stick with the elements. Stick with the elements, but don't be scared to infuse, you know, and test. Infuse maybe yeah. different colors. A color on a button can sometimes be the game changer between right. oh, one word to one 30 word. to 300. Yeah. So really yeah. remember, don't throw out, and it's such, Sonia used to say to me, is that an American line when I would say, don't throw out the baby in the bathwater? <laughs> I'm not that. from the United States. Um, and she'd be like, what does that mean? That's the crazy, but it means like, don't always abandon it because it's the testing process that allows you to know your analytics. So now, right, right. I'm gonna let you zip throw. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> it's all right. And also, your copy needs to be simple. It's not a sales page. It's just an opt-in, um, and so forth. So, um, different opt-in builders platforms that you can use. Of course, you can use your WordPress website if you're on WordPress. Um, you can use nowadays your email service to design your landing pages, such as MailChimp, ConvertKit, and, and so forth. You can use your all-in-one service, such as ClickFunnels, Kartra, Kajabi. And you also have those services that specialize in building uh, landing pages and sales pages, such as lead pages, on bounce, Insta page, just to name a few. So no matter where you're at, you always have a solution to build something quick and to put your freebie out there. There are some services better than others, some services you will love and some of them you will hate. 
So um, try, you know, uh, play around and see what best fits your needs. Now, um, before I go into the, the funnel visual, I want to hop on a, um, a nice little um, opt-in page that we wrapped up this morning. Are you okay with that, Rachel? Whoop, whoop. Just to give people an idea of what is a good opt-in page. So this opt-in page, as you can see, um, of course you see all my mess up there, but don't worry about that. Um, also, I, I will actually interrupt a few times during yes. this. What Sonia and I have played around with, and everyone's different, but what Sonia and I have kind of developed over time is you want to teach your clients when you're making transitions or also what they can expect, meaning we are now using this picture for all of these webinars and free courses. So when somebody lands there, they not only, because when you think of this, and Sonia did go to design school, but on a side story, which you know I can go forever, so I'm gonna keep the rant to like, nah, 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 is that back when I was in commercial real estate, my business partner, she went to design school and she used to always say, people see pictures first, Rach. People see pictures first, they don't see the words. So even when you're looking at this, what do you see first? You may see the red button, but you probably look at the picture first. Yeah, right here. So always think about when you're creating it, what feeling sometimes, especially in our membership, because in our content and box membership, we do like sales page analysis and I'll be like, this picture isn't working. This picture is like making me want to leave. So if it's like a picture that you're just like, ah, yeah. You wanna, like I said, go and either go to Unsplash, um, Pexels, Pixabay, um, or use some of the pictures from the program. Sorry. Right. So here, as you can see, I am not even scrolling at all, and I see everything I need to see right above the fold. So this is the fold, the end of your screen. If I scroll, I have more information, but here I don't need to scroll to have everything I need. So I know what it is about, I, I know who it is about. Is it me, am I, oh, well, I am a health and wellness coach, so maybe it's for me. And then a little subtitle to kind of um, deepen the subject. And also this, this particular one is a free recorded video training. You don't want to promote a live training when it's not the truth. So um, then sign me up. And if you want to have a little more information, then you can start scrolling. You have, you know, social proof. You have what you're going to learn during this training, video one, two, three. And again, you want to invite your customers to, um, to click again and enter their information. So this is a good um, opt-in page that is um, easy. Now I'm going to show you a different one that I've quickly built in lead pages. So... Here, can you see my lead page? Probably. Okay, so this is one of Rachel's um, products that I've used as a sample. And this is a, a platform called lead, called lead Pages, which is a platform that is um, specializing into landing pages and sales pages as I mentioned before. Segue, segue, and I always say this, Russell, I love you, very grateful. But, but, not an end, a but. And I've talked to a bunch of coaches about this. There are some coaches that can go in to ClickFunnels and Carrie Adams is one of them. She bought the three month mindset makeover. She sat down and she is like the digital nomad. They moved from Canada to Costa Rica. And she said, I'm creating a membership. And she just, she did it. She figured out everything. She created a membership. She used ClickFunnels. I've talked to a lot of coaches who are paying the 99 a month, and that's not even at the tag based of, I think it's 297 or 279. Mm, to, yeah, to use the full. Sometimes I flip numbers. Um, and that's the full tag based. You have the full yeah. bandwidth of, and when we go on to that next funnel page, the opportunity, that's where funnels get great. And I'm actually, I'll pull it for something because I have one of my whiteboards that has all these funnels. It's when you really get into the behavior, the down sell, the, that's real funnel hack. That's real 
funnel usage. That's when you are running like a machine. Right. The problem is click funnels can be not as easy. I know that I had clients who were like, we're going to keep it really simple. We're going to do it on click funnels. And I needed to bring in one of my team members to connect to Stripe, to set it up, to set up the, the order page. Sonia, I, I think in our two launches ago, I almost blew a socket when I was trying to make a change, user making a change um, without a team member. Maybe some of you would say, why are you doing that? That's a, well, whatever. That's Rachel. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I like to be, like Gary Vee says, I like to get my hands, hands on my fingers dirty. Yeah. My hands dirty. Um, but I also like to test out things because the truth is, if, I do, if I'm saying to you, get click funnels and you can't do it yourself and you're a sole entrepreneur, then I'm not living my truth and I'm not no. like walking my walk and talking my talk. So I try every platform. I Skype Sonia and I was like, I need you. I, I just messed up something. I don't even know what I did. And it was like, she was like, oh, well, you just did, you know, you did this. It can be a little tricky. And I turned around and I was like, we are out. We're done. I went back to leave pages, which I never had canceled. I'm not telling you to leave click funnels if you're doing it, please. This is not a platform discussion. This is about user friendly. What I love about lead pages for those of you like myself who design is not like your forte. I've just learned this over time. When Sonia says I can get to 80% if you missed that, that video, that's because I wanted to learn. I wanted to learn how to run my business. I also am a visual person, so I can't see how the copy which for those of you who are new, I needed to learn this, are the words on the page that expresses to the person that is going to arrive at that page what they need to opt in, buy, want, anything. It's the words on your site to, to, to showcase who you are, the pillars of your business, what I also call the buckets, meaning the three to four areas that you focus as the umbrella under your niche. And so this is an amazing template because this is a template. They provide amazing, gorgeous templates. P.S. Gary V uses Eventbrite. So when I say keep it simple, there are people like Lisa Consiglio I talk about all the time that has a four-year membership detox. If you want to have four detoxes, please contact us. Like we can, <laughs> we can help you figure out the favorite ones there is not something that we can't help you with. And one of my favorites is lead pages because it's cost effective. And the biggest problem we see, what, Sonia, is that the cost yes. start killing yes. the client. And yes. so we want you to set yourself up. We all, of course, you want to outsource things, but guess what? In reality, Sonia, you want to, you want to say reality or do you want me to say it? You can go ahead. You have the right words. <laughs> Reality is that sometimes shit just goes wrong because somebody's sick. Somebody got the flu. Somebody has a family emergency. Your team member who you thought was going to do it, like, welcome to being an entrepreneur. Everyone goes, I love this one. I go, oh my God, running my launch from the beach. Even if you're starting your business, it feels overwhelming. So I just wanted to say to you, there are a lot, especially for those of you, and I've seen a lot who don't have websites. Good news is Sonia is launching her Done Free website. We will be even be launching Done Free website copy. Um, but let's stay, oh God, just ranted, ranted, ranted. Let's stay on the topic. I just want you guys to realize you don't need every platform. Please. No. Please don't do that. Yeah. Save the money, invest it in the things that you really feel like you need, especially support, yeah. coaching, a tribe or a community or Facebook you know, ads. Or, yeah, yeah, Facebook ads so that you are getting, you know, the people that you need instead of just more platforms, more platforms. Right. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna but shut you can't make, if don't hesitate to leave a platform if you don't like it. I mean I I try a lot of platforms because of my clients. I work in Kajabi. I worked in Kartra. I work in um, Teachable. I work in all those different platforms. And there are some of them I absolutely despise going in and working it. Even though I do it for my clients, 
I hate it. Those are some clients that don't do the work themselves. I do it for them. But if you really want to um, hone your business, learn your craft and learn the basic tools for you to grow without having to rely on somebody at every time you have a new bright idea and you get stuck because of technology or because you need somebody or you don't have quite the money to hire a designer, to hire a VA, you got to be able to learn your, your little tools so that you can roam free. Even if it's not perfect to start with, just learn something simple. And Lead Pages is a very good example of something simple. And I'm going to show you just one thing that is so easy is when you need to connect to your, um, to your um, email, you just click here. Of course, you have integrated your, your CRM, but here, just click your MailChimp. You are checking your little uh, list and you- Because you guys, you created a list first. Let's just, right. let's just we wanna give first step. You were not showing you the whole MailChimp process. A bunch of people have actually said, can you guys do a two hour on how to launch a course in Teachable? Our program, not even a course. I think Teachable is a great option. Um, step one is this, is you have to, you have to look at the integrations with Lead yeah. Pages. Lead Pages is amazing. Yes. Especially for those of you who don't have designers, not tech savvy. And please, please, I'm saying this with a stop, stop, stop warning. I can't tell you how many people try to deviate from the template. Don't deviate. The templates are proven, meaning just like ClickFunnels, they have taken the time. Lewis Howes, there's a template for, template for Lewis Howes. They have taken the time, the energy, and the huge agency that they have to invest in what converts. So make sure you create your list first. When yeah. um, so when you clicked on that, it will say connect. It will only find your list if you have created that first. Right. So you first need to go into your, um, your MailChimp as an example. ConvertKit's going to be the same way or Drip or any of those um, email system, even a Weber or who God knows what else. That You always have an audience or a list or a group or something you have to define and a form because you want people to opt into a form. So you have to have that set up into your email marketing service first. Yeah, Sonia, we should really do an entire series of like how to launch with each like step because the tech I know for everyone really is what gets them. But let's just stay on MailChimp today. Show the opt-in freebie. I just want to, you know, show them um, that even with MailChimp nowadays, you can create opt-in pages within MailChimp and my point is you don't necessarily need a website to start building your list. So that's a great, it's the same with lead pages. You take the URL, you promote that URL, or you do a bitly with it so you can track it and you can already start building your list. You do not need a full blown website unless you want to sign up for MailerLite. At that point, yes, you will need to. And guys, but, the other thing is, and this is what you have to, like for example, if you're working in weight loss as your niche, don't just have opt-in freebies that are about weight loss. Like when I think about like somebody losing weight, what are they searching for? Hi, Zoe. What are they searching for? What could be the opt-in freebie? Is it just about weight? Is it sugar? Is it, is it, you know, hormone? Is it about hormones? Is it about, think about what you think that they are searching for, their pain. So what is endless energy? You could even say, and of course, this is the exact page we give you because all our opt-ins we give you opt-in yeah. And this is something, yeah. part of the, our Rachel's part package, this is all, you have all that information in Rachel's packages. All of them have the pertinent information to launch your sales page, your products, and your opt-in freebies. So let's talk a little bit about the whole funnel flow real quick. What do you think, Rachel? Okay. So can you see the funnel sample? No. All right. So I need to change the sharing. Sorry about that. There we go. Let's share this. All right. So here's a funnel sample as a visual. 
So when you have your opt-in page, your landing page right here that we just talked about is right here. So what's gonna drive the traffic? You can have a printed ad, you can have a printed on a business card, um, search on Google, you can have an AdWord banner, Facebook, Instagram Messenger meeting, even one-on-one -on -one meeting, you can tell them, hey, go and meet me at this opt-in page. And all those will drive traffic to that page. And that's why that page, as we said earlier, needs to be simple to the point without any other um, information, but what we want them to do. So once they land on there, they click to complete a form. So that's the form that you have infused from your, oops, from your, um, from your uh, email marketing service. And once they complete a form, if you have a one-step opt-in, you will have them land on either a um, thank you page that you build yourself or an integrated, automated, thank you for subscribing response. Now, if you wanted a double opt-in, that means the person will receive an email to confirm their email before getting your gift. Let me just pause on that for one second because <laughs> when, uh, <laughs> when double opt-in really came into play again was something called GDPR. Um, this happened last year. In this year, uh, this time, yeah, in May last year. May. <laughs> yeah. May 7th of 2000, in <laughs> right before I launched, it said, you know, we want to make sure in Europe that there is not false advertising, bringing in people who want to opt in to a freebie. And I'm just going to explain it. And this is, I, there are videos there. I, I can put them all, but this is the simple, the simple, and again, Disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer, but this is exactly what's been said between the multiple people I interviewed. The transparency is what's in, important. So what happened is MailChimp required a double opt-in. And what that means is some of you maybe like many, that that confirmation went to spam or they didn't get the confirmation. And you wonder, why didn't this person get my program? Why didn't this person get the opt-in? The confirmation went to spam. The biggest thing is that in opt-in freebies, anything, as long as you say, you know, grab this free gift and get on my newsletter list. What it is, is about transparency. Somebody knows they're gonna grab that and they're gonna be put onto your main list. So um, if you have, um, if you are with, uh, if you were with an e a CRM, a, an email marketing system that does not have a double opt-in or doesn't require, um, or you're promoting to certain countries, please don't get overwhelmed <laughs> with this. The biggest thing is transparency because what they wanted to do was really to stop this like massive marketing right. that was happening and email lists being sold. Um, ideally in a world, we don't have a double opt-in because then some people miss it. They don't find it. It often goes to the junk mail or to the promotion folder. Um, but again, you know, just on the front it says like, grab this, like, you know, grab grab this and right under the grab me or they give it to me, like grab this and, you know, and get out to my newsletter list or right. on the thank you page, you can even say, or the thank you email or the, or the welcome letter. Thank you so much for grabbing this email, for grabbing this guide on, you know, the 10 ways to repair my gut, which we have, or how do you CBD oil so that you don't feel X, Y, Z. Um, you know, we've added you to the newsletter, to our email list so that you can get these amazing promotions. We give 20% off our programs, whatever your thing is. So it makes it feel what? That somebody actually wants to stay there. There are going to be tons of people, guys. And I, I used to, I see this. Yeah. I used to see this more when somebody would say, I, people opted and they left. Well, they're not your ideal client. You right. want them to leave. You don't want to have to pay for them on your list. Mm -hmm. Whether it's MailChimp, MailerLite, Infusionsoft, Entreport, ActiveCampaign, you're paying for each person. 
You want people that are your ideal client. So, you know, just remember, if you are not doing a double opt-in, and if, even if you are, just be transparent. Say, you know, when you, when you opt in, I'm also adding you here because I'm giving you some really cool stuff right. and you don't want to leave. Right. And let them know that they can unsubscribe at any time. Hence the use of those services. That's why I said in an earlier video that you have, you have, you have to use one of those services. And now um, I think MailChimp has that and some other platform have that too, that if the traffic comes from a European country, they have an automated GDPR checkbox that is um, integrated in the form. In so the you form. do not have to worry about that. And, and guys, don't worry. If you're like, what is GDPR? I just started my business. Don't Everyone worry. in this year has gone through, every form is GDPR um, approved. The biggest thing is they just don't want people, excuse the word, but it's the only one that comes to mind, just douchey in marketing. And that is where we went in marketing, unfortunately, for, for a little while. And now the beauty, and this is what Ryan Dice, and please, if you don't, if you're looking for someone to follow, because everyone in every industry has their own approach, look at some of like, the pioneers and you know Ryan Dice would always say you know listen be transparent say to people you know really clearly um, look I offer you the service the other thing about when somebody opts in for example say this was a sugar challenge the five-day sugar challenge that we had it's likely in that one funnel or in that one list that you're gonna follow up and say, hey, you know, I work with people to get off sugar. I start people with the 10 day sugar detox. After you graduate from that, because woohoo, party on, you've just dropped sugar. I have a mastery program. That's a six week sugar repair. I just created that funnel. I help someone map out, you know, it's of course likely, and that's the biggest thing with marketing is you don't want to grab you know emails from other places. You don't want to pull them off Facebook. You want people to naturally come to you, and that's the beauty about when you have a really great opt-in with what you're seeing right here as a sample funnel. Is it's a conversation? Remember, a funnel is like a first date, or a funnel is like we could compare it to sex. It's getting in bed. You wouldn't be like, hey. Let me just do this. You'd be like, can I kiss you? Okay. Let's go to dinner first. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a conversation. It's a courtship. It's a, it's, that's what a funnel is. And the more that we sometimes, I hear coaches who are new, who are like, I have to have a tripwire. And I'm like, but do you? Or do you just actually need to be visible have different opt-in freebies that appeal to different people and then lead them to the water, lead right. them to the place they truly need because they wouldn't have opted in if they weren't interested in any way. Right. And you much rather have a thousand people list that is highly qualified of raving fans than 20,000 people that don't even buy one thing from you. So um, don't worry about the size of the list more worry about the quality of your list. So that's why you want to attract people with different ways. So let's go back to our visual. So once they land on the thank you page, your system, your email system will automatically trigger. Of course, you need to set it up. An autoresponder, like we say in the jargon, is an AR. So as soon as somebody hits the yes, give it to me, they give you um, their precious email address, Boom, the system said, okay, I'm gonna send that email. That's an AR, an autoresponder. In that email, it's kind of like a welcome, thank you email. And you will have the link to download or the link to redirect to a download page, um, unless you redirect them directly to a download page. But in this case, let's use the email sample. And uh, they click, they go to download, they're happy. And uh, a day later, two days later, three days later, you send them another email. So that means they're now enrolled into your campaign, your automated campaign. So you have all those emails set up to drip automatically after either a action from the viewer 
or a time set. And after the first, okay, so the autoresponder, then you have the first email, second email, third email, you could perhaps, depending on your list, depending on if you're well known or, or where you are in your business, you can offer a tripwire offer. And within that, that email, you're going to a, uh, ask for the, for the purchase, so offer the, the service or the product. And if they purchase, they leave this campaign and they go to the campaign that's linked to that purchase, that purchase product. So it has its own email sequence. And if they don't purchase, oh no, they didn't purchase, that's okay. Send them an email two or three days later, say, hey, you know, I sell, I didn't purchase, da 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 da. And that's when two or three emails later, you can offer a down sell, like, hey, you didn't purchase, would you be interested in XYZ that is lower priced, a little different, or something that maybe you want to offer like a 15 minute free um, call with them. If they purchase, boom, they leave that, they go to that new sequence. If they don't, okay, you put them into a nurture sequence. This is a sequence that keep people interested, where you send your um, newsletter and you keep them you know, entertain, but they're not quite ready to bite the bullet or to start working with you. So here's a sample of um, an easy uh, funnel. Of course, it can be way more complicated or much simpler too. So if you don't want to do a tripwire, you can stop here after the email three and put them into a nurture sequence. That can be done also. Nurture sequence, you can build over time, you can have several emails. I have some clients that have, you know, 78 emails. They build up onto it. They okay. add at the end. Guys, that's it doesn't have problem. to be that complicated. It right. doesn't have to. This is what I want to show you. Is that, let me just, let me pull this. Even though you're going to see it's backwards, but let me just pull this for the sake of today. Okay. This, let me turn this off. No, it's good. It's, it's on the right. It's not backwards. No, it's usually backwards because um, of the writing. They come in. So when you just showed this, they come in from all these different places. Here's your lead magnet. They lead to a story with a gift and an invite to your one-on-one -on -one because most of you don't know your clients yet. They don't, you don't know what they need. This could, if they do buy that trip buyer, or they do buy, they go into another part. That's what we were talking about, these advanced. For right now, for those of you, you just want to get emails. You just want to share your excitement. You want to keep it simple. If they don't, they go to case study or testimonial, social proof. I helped one of my biggest I think I landed five clients from it is I helped my mom lose five pounds. I mean, it was just like, where I and I helped my mother-in-law lose 20. And I wrote about that and everyone replied. I said, hit reply if you want. They came in from a lead magnet. Everything I did, I built my list organically, no paid ads to 7,000. From summits that the, and people ask me, I didn't even go out and search for them. People were like, wow, you share a lot of amazing content. That is why we love the blog packages. That's why I don't believe in one freebie fixes it all because everyone's searching for something different and everyone's pain point is different. Even if it still comes back to the same problem. So here's case study. I helped my mom to lose weight with the following. Maybe it was paleo, maybe it's keto, maybe it's, you know, supporting her on detox, whatever it is. Then email three, I go for a harder push. That's like, look, I know you struggled with, I know it was really hard. I did that too. I struggled. I went to X. I spent this amount of money. My clients have always said they went through this too. You're helping somebody to identify with what is called the soap opera sequence. You're taking them through like, oh, thank you so much. Let me tell you a little about myself to help them identify. Then you're like, I help this person. 
And I dedicated my entire business because it was so bad when I struggled with one, two, three, four, five. And this is where I am today. Look at me before, look at me after. Then you're leading them to even another, a case study, because they didn't convert. And so they get a tag to go to what? If they didn't buy the tripwire, they didn't go for the low cost offer. Maybe they're right for one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe they're right for a group. Maybe they don't know yet. And this is why I always say your funnels will get to the point. I mean, I would say Sonia and I looking at it, it's like, we know what works. We're at that major rinse and repeat where we're like, boom, it's easy. We created that funnel today, I think in all of like an hour. Because yeah, exactly. the foundation was set up. Right. It was set up. And what I talked to you guys about the other day about having the healthy real estate as a landing page that was set up because once you set it up, you may feel like, oh my God, Ness, this, is this a low investment? But that investment is so worth it because once it works, you replicate, you replicate, you replicate. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. If on this hard sell, they don't go, you can lead them to a video with working with you. Hey guys, I know you just downloaded gift number three. I want to tell you exactly why I do this. That's like your, that's like your, like, I've got to tell you what this is about. This can go into all these. It says, did not convert, go to one-on-one -on -one group. Great. If they didn't convert from that, down sell to a do-it-yourself, like I showed you from Nicole Jardine, from Marie Marlowe. They can go to a membership or a masterclass. Hey, you know what? Maybe you're struggling with, um, maybe you're struggling with your skin. Why don't you come to my, why don't you look at the do-it-yourself skin detox or the self paste. The whole idea is what? That you're understanding always from your opt-in freebies. Most people say, I don't even know what my niche wants. Well, because you didn't like create anything to test your niche. And Sonia and I see this often. Or I, and I see this a thousand times over and I did this, I made the mistake. I thought everyone was searching for gut. They weren't. Some knew they had gut. They were searching for autoimmune stuff. The people who had acid reflux and were gaining weight and skin issues and the hair was falling out and they didn't even know what was going on. And the typical answer was, I don't even know what feels good because everything doesn't when I eat. They were searching for sugar, thyroid, weight loss. I wasn't any of those... I didn't specialize in any of those areas, but what I did understand was human behavior, psychology, and marketing. And marketing is empathy, human psychology, and going into the deepest parts of your subconscious. It's just a subconscious. It's what do you think at night? People who are binge eating, what are they thinking? What do they feel? People who want to lose weight. It's not just like, oh my God, I'm going to get you into your skinny, awesome jeans. It's, I hate myself. Every time I get on, you know, the scale, I don't even want to leave the house. I don't want to go out with my friends. And these were all clients of mine that said this. But before you have clients, because that is marketing. You take what your client is saying, you flip it around, you turn the pain into the product. But before that, you don't know. So you're in a testing phase. Instead of investing in a $10,000 mastermind, I'm not telling you that they don't work or that they're not beneficial. You test with different opt-in freebies, workshops, low-cost offers. You see how your market interacts with you. So I just want you to sit there. For those of you that are launching in, we're recording this in, you know, in May, for those of you that are launching in June, you know, take a step back. You don't have to launch a freebie and then get people to your program. 
you have to launch your excitement for it and don't sit in analysis paralysis. If you don't have five freebies, my, I always say my signature rule is three signature freebies that match your three buckets, four signature workshops or webinars that match those, and they can be pre-recorded, master classes, anything. I want to show you, just in conclusion, um, something that Sonia and I even made today. <laughs> That's how fast we work. Because I was like, Sonia, I don't think this is working for what I have. But I'm going to show you a few examples before we leave. Um, We always talk about one free page. This can be your LinkedIn pro. This can be on LinkedIn. This could be your IG clickable. So it's like Sonia designed this today. One free page. See the different download instantly. And she actually created that. I didn't even need to tell her what to do because she knows this call to action wipes. The, the verbiage one should use. These are all, you know, these are all series, success story. But up here, it's download instantly. These are two opt-in freebies. When we go even to, um, let's go to Pepina for one second and we'll close with that. Here is my client that I worked with. We wrote all the copy. We mapped out everything. She has right up, pop up. Has slimming down become too complicated? Ditch the overwhelm and get my free guide. Seven healthy habits to stay lean. She looks adorable. It's simple. She stays in branding colors of herself. She created her, her own brand. And she was one of those people that she was like, I know what I want. I'm just really confused. And I don't know where to go, which I think I hear from everyone. Or some people say, I don't know what I want. And she's got this amazing story about her health journey, but that wasn't what was really even important. She was like, I want to work with women whose metabolisms have slowed down because that's who I want to work with. Just because, and Pepina, you see from the scar, went through like a surgery when she was little, that doesn't have to be who she works with. Your opt-in freebies, your everything, your bundles, your giveaways, they should reflect what you're doing. So Pepina goes through this ready for a reboot, here's her call to action, but here, adorable. Made on a cute little adorable phone. Get my big nutrition secrets. See the guide, please. What I wanted to show you just in that is there's not like this one way to do it, but do not deviate from what Sonia said. Because high converting opt-in pages, and she's worked with many people, myself and many others, high converting um, Facebook ads that lead to that, high converting workshops, webinars. There's not just this, oh, I'm boosting an ad. You want to really step back and think, what do I want people to know about? What's really pivotal for their health journey that matches these, the stages, the pillars, of my business. So, um, and make sure that just, and I'll show one because I think she gives a perfect example. She also has like her, you know, what's new, how to stay in shape. She is like really creating a relatable site. And that's what Sonia talked about in the sites as well. Relatable photos. So make sure that you're speaking to your ideal client. If you want if you're doing something on getting your energy back and you're using the endless energy or you're doing a five day sugar challenge or the gut and you're working with women in the forties, fifties and sixties, don't put a girl that's 25 jumping up and down the beach. Like we may want the 25, but I'm 44. <laughs> I work hard <laughs> to, I have kids. I I'm, have not girls. I have, I'm not 25. I have crisis. So really think about your ideal client. Who are they? What do they look like? This is copyright 101. 
what are their deepest problems, their fears, everything. Um, Sonia, do you want to tell everyone also where to find you as far as even brand sheets, logo, some of even the beginning stuff, but also for those advanced who are building out courses? Right. Um, because we, we actually use a more advanced one called Access Ally. We love it. Sonia actually just got asked, which is so exciting. Have to, we have to do this interview um, by Access Ally to feature actually our membership because it was done in just a way that's so user friendly. Right. Um, they were super impressed with our settings and everything, so they want to feature us. But it doesn't um, mean that in the beginning stages that no. you can't use Teachable. Or maybe you're looking, and this is what Sony's really great with. So even if you did an hour strategy session to plan, it's really thinking about your business because the last thing you want to do, and I've done this, is you want to, is backtracking. So for those of you doing courses or membership, you know, some, there's not, as Sonia always says, there's not one perfect platform. No. But you want to think of a platform when it comes to either opt-in freebies. In the beginning stages, what's going to save you the most money? You also want to think for the longevity of your business. But most importantly, you just want to get out there and do it. And that's why I think Lead Pages was such a perfect example because it's so easy to use. You want to close out with anything, Sonia, and also tell everyone where to find you? All right. You can find me at daringdesign.co. Um, I am about to launch some templates, WordPress templates done for you, complete websites with opt-in pages, webinar pages, thank you pages, you name it, it's going to be on there, sales pages, and um, Rachel's coming out with done for you content for your website very soon. So we have a lot of things going on. Um, we're going to talk about sales pages too on another live stream and how to um, also how to um, deliver your courses. So that's going to be a good one. We're going to talk about Teachable. You know, and guys, follow her on IG because it's really interesting to see some of the pages that she's done and some of the Facebook ads and stuff and things that do convert. Remember, at the end of the day, and I've seen coaches who have invested, and so I've yeah, seen them mm -hmm. too. Thousands and thousands, and they don't make money. Believe in yourself. I mean, this is not an opt-in page talk, but there's no course, there's no magic funnel, there's no magic anything that can give you like the confidence to believe in your business and allow you to promote what you want to do. But at the end of the day, your opt-in page needs to make sense and needs to be really easy for somebody to navigate. And if it's not, it's going to be really hard for people, especially on mobile, um, to be able to opt in. They're going to say, I can't opt in. Mm -hmm. So just remember, in this training, whether you contact Sonia and you hire her for your opt-in page and she shows you how to replicate and save money and stuff like that, or you know, whether you're using any of our programs with come with opt-in pages, just think of what appeals to you most, your avatar, your ideal client, and also their buyer personality. If you have any questions, you can hit us up at yourhealthcoachbiz.com, drop in your question, and we will answer yep. it. And also let us know what you want to learn. If you have specific issues, technique or some niches you want to investigate or some things are missing in your funnels or in your business, let us know. We're here to help. All right, guys, we will see you later. And again, if you have any questions, always contact us for the latest coupon savings because we know how much it takes to build a business. We are moms. We are solo. Well, I'm not solo entrepreneur anymore, but I did that. I did it. <laughs> I learned a lot and I would not take anything back because at the end of the day, I know exactly how to run my business. But if you are stuck, stuck in overwhelm, analysis, paralysis, please reach out. We're here to help you. Look forward to it. And we will see you. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.